Are you trying to get a sweaty banner in Apex? Oh yeah. But you don't have any crazy badges? <laughs> well today I'm gonna help you bring your banner from something that looks like this to something that looks like this. Now the first thing I want to prefix in this video is that you really don't need any crazy badges like the 4k or the 20 bomb badge to actually have a nice looking banner. So the first thing you should be looking for when trying to make a sweaty banner are some nice looking badges that move around a little bit because nothing screams sweat fest like movement in Apex Legends. So if you have any moving badges from the battle passes, go ahead and throw those on. Personally, I love the combination of Season 13's badge as well as Season 7's badge because it makes it look like a sword is going into this little vortex and it also really fits the frame. The next thing you should be looking for is a frame because a good and bad frame really do make the difference between a nice and a garbage looking banner as you can see here. Now luckily we very recently gotten some really nice free frames which you can use for yourself. My personal favorite is City Celebration however if you like one better you could definitely use that as well if it just fits better with the skin you're currently using on your legend. And when it comes to skins you're actually going to want to pick something that probably fits the vibe of your frame. Here I'm going with Void Specialist because it really fits well with City Celebration and it's just like a very nice combination. Up next you're going to want to change your pose. Now for your pose there's not really much I can say about it other than you're definitely not going to go with one of the blue ones because they're pretty boring. You're probably going to want to go with one of the purple or golds because they do move around and pop a lot more and they just look a lot more sweaty that way. Now you might be wondering, well, what am I supposed to do with my trackers then? And the best thing you can do with your trackers is actually to take three of the same event trackers and put them on the same frame. And if it's not possible for you to do this, that's completely okay. Just look around for some of your highest number trackers and put those on. A little cheat sheet if you don't have very good trackers is to use two different damage trackers that are from different events. This can make it look like you've actually got some crazy looking numbers on your frame, but really, it's just two of the same ones. Now I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, have fun with your new banner. Yeah.